guys, welcome to Spell Training. My name is Coach Sam and this is... I'm Coach Grace and we are going to make some fast and easy ground turkey burgers. Mm. They are fast, they're easy, and they're yummy. Are they yummy? They're super yummy. Are they fast and easy though? They're fast, they're easy to make. Because we don't like we making delicious. a lot of long We recipes. don't like a lot of ingredients. We well, like it to we keep it like simple <laughs> and make it nutritious and healthy and delicious. All right, so real quick, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to mix everything together, tell you how much the ingredients that we're using, what they are. Grace is gonna tell you some benefits and then we're gonna cook them up. So first we have an avocado. Um, you wanna get it to where it is ripe because you want to mash it. Um, you don't want anything very hard. And avocados are good in fat as well. Good healthy fats. So you're just gonna mash this up and then I am going to make loud noises. I'm gonna grade this zucchini. Do you wanna tell me about a zucchini? Do you wanna tell it into the zucchini? Absolutely. <laughs> so, like check. the zucchini has soluble, um, it has a lot of, excuse me, whoa, the <laughs> zucchini mic just threw me off. It has a lot of water content and it's also really helpful for digestion. It has a lot of soluble and insoluble fiber. Um, and it's super healthy, it's a lot of antioxidants in it, and it's just great. Zucchini's super versatile, you can cook it in so many different things. Um, so we're gonna add this in and mix it in with the turkey. So honestly, you don't really even taste the zucchini when it's mixed in, mixed in with the ground turkey and the spices. Um, it just gives it a little bit of extra oomph in the burger, helps it stick together, gives you some extra nutrients. Um, and gives you veggies within your turkey burger. The one thing I like about zucchini is you can, I like zucchini in all kinds of ways. I've had zucchini bread, zucchini noodles to um, substitute it for a pasta. I've eaten it in with salads, tomatoes, ratatouille with zucchinis, super good. Zucchini soup, there's so many different ways that you can make it. So it's nice that you can utilize this delicious, I'm gonna put probably just that much, that yeah. This does delicious And you don't have to use vegetable. a full zucchini. You can kind of do as much or as little as you would like. Some people might like more zucchini in their turkey bur burgers. Some people might like. <laughs> Is that a burger? Burger, a burger. burger. <laughs> Hamburger over here. I'm gonna steal your burgers. Um, so if you don't want too much zucchini in there, you can just grate, you know, about an inch worth of the zucchini. Right. And then add the turkey. turkey. So we have ground turkey. Make sure that you do um, kind of pat dry it a little bit. It does contain a lot of water. Um, so when you are making the turkey burger on the stove, you don't want it to get very watery and juicy and then keep it very moist. Um, we do want to dry it out just a tad bit because of the zucchini in here that is going to add some more liquids so we're gonna give this a stir. And then I have some fun dry ingredients of spices. We have cayenne pepper. Um, it looks like cumin or cumin. Um, and then some garlic. So and cayenne pepper is super good to help give the metabolism a nice little burst and curb hunger and cravings. So we add that cayenne pepper to give it flavor, but also there are some benefits. Mm, and it's a meta booster. It's a meta boost. It's a and meta influencer. Meta booster influencer spice. I'm sure you guys have heard us talk about that. So I'm just gonna do about whoop, a little bit of a pinch in there, probably a little bit more than a pinch. It will give it some heat, so just be aware of how much you're adding. If you don't like spice, maybe do a little bit less. If you like it hot and nice and spicy, Sprinkle that cayenne all over. Get in there. All right, so then we have some garlic, which is about one clove garlic chopped up. Give it a nice stir. And then while I'm stirring this for the last bit to make the patty, Grease, why don't you warm up that stove and put probably some oil on the pan just to get it a little bit hot. So we like our pan to be warm before we cook. It's always best to warm the pan and let it get nice and toasty. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of olive oil just to drizzle and coat the pan so it doesn't stick. Not a lot, maybe a tablespoon, or not, sorry, maybe even a teaspoon, it's not much. Um, but just make sure that you're coating the pan so that way we can have some oil on there so the turkey burgers don't stick because they will get a little sticky. 
All right, how is that warm over there? Because I'm going to walk this nice patty over to you. Yeah, I can feel it warming up, so. Good? Good to go. Perfect. There's one. And we're going to cook these on medium heat. Um, so there's not an exact time to cook. If you like yours more done and you like a little bit of charring on there, you can obviously cook it longer. Some people like them to just be cooked all the way through. They don't want any charring, so you can cook a little bit less time. But it also depends on how big you make the patties too, right? So we made if you some have nice small patties. Big, juicy ones. Yeah, these are pretty good size, so <laughs> it might take a little bit for them to cook. So we'll have them cook on the stove and we will catch you guys back in a couple minutes once these have started to cook. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so we've waited about 10 minutes now, five minutes on each side of the turkey burgers. Grace is going to pull those burgers off of the stove. Make sure to turn the stove off. I'm and we flipped them a couple different times, so it's five minutes on either side, but we liked them a little bit more brown. Put some onions and tomatoes on our little bib lettuce patties, because we're not using bread here. Putting the burger right on top of that tomato. Mm, and these so are good. usually best if they're served right after they come off the stove, just because they're nice and warm. I mean, maybe not right after. I let that steam come off a little bit. But they're best when they're served warm. Um, so if you're bringing them with you, Make sure to heat up the burgers before you're putting them on to the bib lettuce and adding your toppings. If you want to add a little more avocado on there, if you want to add mushrooms, whatever, make your turkey burger yours. But these are ready to go, and these were fast and easy. Voila! For more recipes just like this, like, subscribe, click below. Let us know what you want to see us make because maybe we haven't made it yet or start swiping because we already did. Enjoy and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.